Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This is a track guide for the Ray FF1600 around Laguna Seca. Hopefully it will help you find some time. Let's get into it. At the start finish line when going through turn 1, you want to take the shortest route possible before opening up into turn 2. You want to open up turn 2 as much as possible so you can actually use this concrete just in front of us. Between the curb and the concrete there's a little bit of gravel. When I get past that I use that as my braking marker. Just be aware that the track is falling away from you, so it's easy to lock up here. The apex point is around the red sausage. I do miss it a little bit here. I'm slowly releasing the brake onto the middle of the corner, where I get on the throttle and try to hit the second apex by the red sausage here. And use all the outside curb. Keep it in second for the next corner. Halfway between the 2 and the 1 board, you want to brake to about 50%. I don't have a turn in point, but I start to turn in when I release the brake. And the aim is to get as close as you can to the red sausage without hitting it. When getting close to the red sausage, you can start going on the throttle and use all of the curb on the outside again. Coming up to turn 4, I turn in just after this two board here. And then I aim to get as close as I can to the red sausage on the inside without hitting it. I do a big lift nearly off the throttle, little touch out of the brake. And as soon as I get to the inside curb, full throttle and use the outside curb as well of course. I use the outside curb to open up turn 6. My braking marker is the white line on the outside of the curb. I like to use second for turn 6, but I've seen some people using third, so you might want to test out what works best for you, but I like the rotation that second gear gives. I turn in at the 2 board and I aim for the red sausage on the inside. As soon as I get to that, I will go full throttle, and then I will use all the curb on the outside coming up the hill. When being second here, I feel I get a bit of drive out. Turn 6 is blind and you do have to brake a little bit for it. I use this 2 board here on lift as my braking marker and I brake to about 40%. You want to turn in at the 2 board as well and you want to get as close as you can to the red sausage on the inside. And of course use all the curb on the outside. I keep it in 3rd all the way up to the braking zone. Coming up to the corkscrew I use this white line on the outside of the curb as my braking marker. You want to break hard and then you want to lift up ever so slightly again so when you go over the crest you don't lock up your tires. Now you want to break as much as you can in a straight line before turning in and taking the inside apex at the curb. I use the three trees in front as a guide for if I make the corner. If I'm past the one on the right, I've made it. You want to go to the right for turn 9 so you can steer the car with the throttle. I do a big lift and then I bounce a little bit on the throttle to make sure I get close to this red sausage on the inside. And of course you can use all the curb here on the right. For turn 10 I use this 2 board as my braking marker and of course you want to use all the curb here on the left. I turn in halfway between the 2 and the 1 board and then you want to get as close as you can to the red sausage on the inside. I get on the throttle just before I hit the curb on the inside and I use all the curb on the outside. For the last corner I use this 2 board on the right as my braking marker. I brake hard in the beginning and then I trail the brake off all the way into the corner. I turn in when I lose sight of the black box here on the left and I go all the way down to first. I even cut this little red sausage here. Now open up the steering. You can use the green all the way out here besides the curb without getting a 1x. And that's a lab around Laguna Sega in the Ray Formula Ford 1600. I hope this has helped you. If it did, leave a like down below. Consider subscribing as well. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed. And now for the uninterrupted hotline.